Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mesla Automation Channel. Today in this session, we're going to see one simple trick where we're going to try to capture entire content of the any web page. So this is a simplest one. We will use only one of the attribute and we will capture entire content of the web page which we are trying to access. So in some cases there are like application like content management system or any advertisement system. So they wanted to see what type of content or how uh, correct that content it is displaying on the website they wanted to verify. So in that situation we can use this approach to capture the entire content. So let's get started and this is the simple uh, class that i created in one of the maven project so this is a maven project and i have a web driver api manager captured so in the pom.xml i will simply call the web driver api manager here dot chrome driver dot setup so this is simplest one so this will avoid us some extra stuff that we are doing this is some set property so we can avoid that and we can simply call web driver driver equal to new chrome driver right so once driver is launched i will say driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit wait so this can be five seconds and time units uh, in seconds so this is to provide some synchronization when the page is getting open and later i will launch a page so that may be i will open this browser here so this is a google search page so i will take the same as a website url so now uh, in this page you can see here there are some contents here so if i do control all you can see yeah, these are all the highlighting right so they are all contents of this page so I wanted to see all of them into my uh, any exportable files or a text file or a report file. So I wanted to do that. And from here, I will simply call driver or I will use a web element first. So I will create a content name. So this will hold the, the reference. So what I'm trying to do. So by find element dot by I will use tag name so here I'm using a tag name if I go to this page and if I inspect anywhere and click inspect and here any HTML page that has a body so without body you cannot see the page so this is the tag I wanted to capture so I will take this body as in my tag name here and here in the sysout so instead of sysout you can use any reporting structures like extent report xlt report or cucumber report so you can use all of them and to capture this report so i will say page content is i will use a new line here so that it will print in a new line right now I will try to append the the web element content dot get text so get text is the method where it will capture entire text of that entire body tag right I will simply save and right click to this page and run as Java application it is started running now you can see page is open and page is open and it has done execution in the console logs you can see here so whatever information that it has in the page it has captured all the information and where I have highlighted right in the page so if I do control all it will show the same thing here sign in option gmail images and the countries and the languages so all this will be captured there so this is a, a one of the approach to capture the text or a contents of the page right there is an one more option there we can capture the page source or page contents using one of the approach so i will show that approach now 
and I will comment these two lines here. So this is approach one. Okay, I think I just enter right. right in new line. I will take a string here. So string can be a page content. Okay, and here I will use driver dot. I will use one of the method called get page source. You can see here page source. So this is the method I wanted to use. Okay. And simply click semicolon here. And in the sysout, I will say page content. is right and I will append page content here I'm not converting that page content into string or a text because it's already a string so I can directly print that in the sysout so I will simply save and right click to this program and run a Java application started running again right I can see here I think it has captured some page source so entire page source that we are trying to see so these are the two approaches that you can use to capture the data of the page content and I hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if the session is helpful for you, do post a like and share with the colleague. Thank you for watching.